One of the most common questions that I get when I start covering the game is what to buy in the shop. Not what to buy with your real money. That may come soon. I've got a little bit of a spreadsheet that I can fill out and put up for any of you guys who actually want to spend money in the game just to see what good value you're getting. But what to spend in the actual shop where the internal resources are getting used. And today I'm going to go through each of the different shops. There is like six different shops within this game. So I'll run through all different six shops and then I'll tell you what I believe is worth buying within these shops. The shop that I'm talking about about is up here to the left it is actually called shop i didn't even check that before i started talking but it is called the shop we're going to our grocery items here you got the croissants i don't really think it's worth it if you are running out of croissants and need heaps of xp then yeah go for it but i think your coins here are definitely more worth it than buying just croissants your certificates here i don't think they're worth buying seriously you should be well past this again all three of them white tulips Again, probably not worth it. You're not really going to buy much in here. It's all really low-level stuff that is just wasting. Especially these blue gems. I don't, it's definitely not worth spending them on this. There's many other places you can spend those gems that are more worth it. And then over here on the left, this is probably the only thing that you would consider buying, I believe, in this shop. Especially the water chestnut. I've got 4,500 of these ingredients. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not using these in the right way or spending them where I should be. But I literally buy everything from this top right-hand corner. It doesn't matter. I probably wouldn't use a refresh on this either. It's not worth using a refresh here. I will show you where I would use refreshes rather than here. The arena shop. Rare food basket every day. Invitation every week. Crude oil. Or crude alloy, sorry, sorry. Every day. Fine alloy. If you're already up to that stage where you need fine alloys, it's probably worth buying those too. Sky Shatter is the first thing you should buy. Definitely, you definitely need that. The Octorite, why do they make all these things so hard to talk about? I'd buy that every week. Your Wafer, I'd, it's probably not worth buying every day. You probably can if you want to. The Lucky Clover, I don't think it's worth spending what your arena coins on that. Maybe if you start going up, that's probably what you need to do. Just watch your arena coins. If they're building up and up and up, then you can extend to buying one extra thing a day. That's the way I would do it. For now, I'm buying the food basket, the crude alloy, probably just those two every day. Oh, and the fine alloy. They're the three that I'm buying every day. And if I notice that my coins are going up and up and up after I do my weekly invitation and octorite, then I'll add one more thing. I might add the Lucky Clover in a day and then see where I'm at by the end of the week. So that's kind of a bit, a bit of a suck it and see. And this all depends on how many arena battles you do a day. You can only do 10. But if you're winning 10 and getting the most amount of arena points, then you can work out what you can actually spend each week. The Match Shop. So I have nearly 2,000 of these. You get these via the tournament, which at the start of every week, you get a huge boost because you just go through everything. Building material, every week, buy that for sure. Stamina el Elixir, yes, every week. The Tulip, I'm probably going to buy every week because it's the end of the week and I still have lots. But again, that is your least priority. Silver Coin, yes, 100k, yes. Octorite, yes. Stamina el Elixir, yes. Invitation, Invitation, yes, yes. Obviously, you unlock these as you get further on. Component, you probably should buy those, to be honest, reading what that is. Yes, buy the component. Gold treasure mount, you can if you want. I think it's a little bit too expensive for just a random getting allotment of items. I don't think it's really worth it unless you do have... If Once you get way, way up there and getting heaps of coins a week, then you can spend more. Again, this is 100k coins. I would look at the difference in how much these uh, cost and buy the one that is more efficient. This one's already sold out, so I don't know what the cost of that is right now. Advanced charger... It just gives you gadget XP. If you're not getting enough gadgets to like clear out and then use to upgrade, that is worth buying, I think. Once you get up to the top here, this chromium plate, they are so hard to come by. Yes, 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 buy those. Random curio box. You need to see how much coins. This book of insight, again, I'm not up to a point where I actually use these. The calculator. Again, I'm not up to a point where you need those. Once you do need those, it's probably worth buying. And this S weapon, again, it's 2000 I feel like that's just a bit expensive. I think all these other things are probably more worth your time in buying.
than saving up for these. If you're getting heaps of tournament points, then yes, splurge and go a little bit higher. But for now, just stick with definitely the invitations, the staminas and video building material, and then maybe the silver coin if you need it, and component. On to the arsenal. I have not bought one thing from in here yet. If there is a weapon down here that you really, really want, I would really probably only buy S tier weapons. Then maybe spend and that's where you get those component points from the match before so it does take a little bit to get to here only buy a weapon if you need that weapon guild shop i have nearly nine thousand of these coins you gain them so fast obviously once your guild gets up like level five guild i will be unloading look bumblebee for twenty thousand. i'm halfway there nearly so that will be that's what you need to save for really obviously buy buy the building material buy the fine alloy Buy an Octorite, everything else, not really worth it. Until, look at this, guild, guild level 5 is where you unlock everything. So, and then looking at all these, number 1 is Bumblebee, I think, off the straight off the bat. These other ones, this is 100,000 coins, that's going to take you ages. Wow, they are really good gadget though. They are probably worth waiting and going and getting those. But for now, stick with the Bumblebee and then just... Suck it and see where you're at with the rest of them. 100,000 is going to take ages to get to. Last one is the Curio Shop. The further you progress, the more of these shells that you get. It does take a fair bit of time. But as you can see, I have not bought the front ones at all. I think that is very expensive. 5,000 for one S weapon box. It's only one per, per month. But I think same with this S Curio chest. 5,000 is so much. Gold treasure map, 2,000. Too much. These three here, if you are getting higher up into the Mirage Ruins and getting more shells, then yeah, you could probably buy those because it is five every time. Like, I'm not even close to getting these. Look, I've only got four. So it's still ages until I get that. These one at the back here, I think they're only 175. And as you can see, I've bought them all out this week and still having 639. So I'm still accumulating, even though I've bought everything down here. And I think this is 100% worth it to buy. These upgrade you so much more. Like, it increases the amount of shells obtainable from the Mirage Ruins as you get more of this. So you're spending shells to get more shells. Worth it. This one, increase the amount of Arena Coins obtainable from Skytop Arena Weekly Tally. More coins, can spend more. Decreases duration of transmissions. All of these curios are amazing. There's one that even gives you more stamina every day. So that is amazing. I would probably not use a refresh on any of these if you... Unless you are spending money and you have heaps of coins to, to use. Maybe in this first one, I want to refresh here just so I can buy more black truffles and the water down here to, to use these ingredients. But other than that, I don't think it's really worth resetting any of these. You're not getting enough to buy out the shop anyway. Where I would spend those though. Come into your guild. This quest. This is where I use some of my refreshes. Only do the highest quest you can. At the moment, I have four star. That's the highest. They're the only quests that I do. This is where I refresh until I get those. Another place that I use a refresh. In a cabin, in the transmissions. Rare. Rare. This one in the middle, I reset 20 times nearly. And it come up common every time. I don't know if it's a bug and it just wouldn't work. It, it started actually doing its visuals wrong. And I think it's just bugged and was stuck on common. But always try and get a rare or more. This is the main place where I use my resets. One more place where I use these resets is in the manor. Come down to the butler. And on these manor orders. I'm also going to give you a little tip here with these orders. Okay. You can lock them. Okay. So this S grade order here. I cannot fulfill it right now. It's 1400 XP. But I want to save that. Hit this lock button up the top here. And this next one, as you can see, it's an A grade order. I'm still getting 1200 for it. And I'm only given 7 rock, 22 what spinach. So I've locked that as well, ready for when I want to do more. These other ones, I'm giving up 45 tomatoes for 500 XP. That's not worth it. Not worth it. You really need to look at what the order is asking for and how much you're giving it. I'm going to refresh this until I get one that I really want to show you. That... Here we go. Look at this B grade, B grade order here. I'm only giving up 13 pieces of silver ore and I'm getting 1000 XP. The best bang for your buck mana orders in the game by far is anything that is just silver ore or something or timber. 
Silver Ore or Timber will get you more XP for what you're giving them than anything. These S-grade ones, look, I'm giving up 62 pieces of material for 1,400. This, I'm giving up 13 for 1,000. And you get so much of this Silver Ore. These, you've got to farm continuously. It's not worth it. Look out for any time. Doesn't matter if it's A, B, C, or D. You're getting huge bang for your buck when you get rocks. Look, five timber for 600. It's a D grade order. I've already done my five, but that will be staying. That will be one thing I'd do tomorrow, straight off the bat. Is zero ma or little materials for the most amount of XP. So that is about it for today's video, guys. Hopefully, I've taught you something, especially in that manner there, or you've learned something. If I have, hit the subscribe. If I haven't, tell me where I'm going wrong, and I'll see you in the video soon.